Okay. So, what are we doing today? This is Gino, Gino, Gino plan. plan. So basically, Gino plan is a DNA test kit, and it has over five hundred reports. Mm. So there are reports on our, our cancer, our likelihood of getting cancer, brain health, nutrition and metabolism, as well as sleep. Today I got a hot item, the DNA test from Janet Plan. Can you guys check? Yeah. Just register your key, serial key. And it says here that we should register our serial key. Yep. So I'm guessing the serial key should be on the bottle over here, which is this one. Okay. And we need to register on the website. Is it a website? Okay, spit into the collection tube. Spit? Yeah, this one. Spit in the collection tube. Better make the slime on. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> the next step is to remove the funnel, preservation buffer. So I would assume that it's the loop. It feels like a science experiment, doesn't it? It feels very uh, scientific. Scientific. And then shake it five to seven times. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, done. Thanks. Place a saliva sample into the poster, return back, I'll assume it's this. Oh, they give, uh, they give one of these. Very thoughtful of them. So helpful of them. There we go. Let's pop it in. And... So all we have to do is just take it to the nearest post office to drop it off and then we can see our results within... 10 to 15 days, we can get back our results, so... 10 to 15 days. Let's go! So I'm quite curious to see what the result will show. So, let's go. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, so it's been two weeks since the uh, test and we gotten back our results. Are you ready to check our results? I am ready. Because I'm kind of kind of, kind of scared. To ready to see what diseases I, I potentially get. Uh. <laughs> so, you ready? Let's do it. Count of three. Count of three. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Okay. Well, first thing is cancer, you Wow, this doesn't look good. Uh, <laughs> huh. Honestly, I thought I was going to be very healthy, but I guess not. You? Healthy? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, it says that my top cancer might be liver liver cancer. Oh, mine it's is lung. Lung? It's weird because I don't smoke, but then I guess like inhaling the dust in my house is enough to kill me. <laughs> my highest is pharyngeal cancer and it's actually it's actually a tumour that's occurring on the mucous membrane of the pharynx But if we actually scroll down, there is tips Lifestyle, lifestyle tips on what we can do to avoid For example, avoid smoking and alcohol consumption But you don't, I don't drink, drink much la. Yeah. You do drink la. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> okay. Not about you. Are you lying? <laughs> There's a camera here, are you lying? <laughs> yeah, okay, I, th I think this is pretty, pretty accurate because I am a pretty heavy drinker so, liver cancer, you know, is written in the stars, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yo, you know what? Click in, click in. Click in? Yeah, like, so you go to your cancer, and ah. you just click in, click you can see... Oh, actually uh, it explains. Yeah, it explains. Ah. So it says that, oh, it even explains to you what, what this uh, cancer com you know, consists of. Yeah. Genetics and environmental. Oh, it says that my genetic... Uh, it's 3.66 and my environmental is yeah, 1.9 yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, my highest is actually thyroid cancer which is not very surprising because my auntie actually has um, thyroid issues So uh, the likelihood of me getting it is actually higher than 5 times mm. mm -hmm. And same thing, as we scroll down, something very interesting is actually this um, graph that we have here So basically there's this cancer prediction graph by age group So it shows the correlation between your age as well as your likelihoods of getting it so apparently the peak at which I have most chances of getting it would be actually when I'm 50 to 60. Oh. You know, I heard right, this genome plan, they actually tell you your coronavirus 
susceptibility. Oh, what? Yeah. So, I think if we go under... Oh, it's under uh, infection. Infection? Yeah. Uh, severity of coronavirus symptoms 1.54 times, which is slightly severe. So, <laughs> so mine is 1.36. They also included tips on how to manage it. So one of the tips would be to make sure to stretch daily. And they also give to um, possible reasons as to why your body might become stiff. I feel it's very informative, like it tells you everything that uh, any possible questions that you might have. Oh, they got drug response also. Eh? Yeah. It's very insightful. Very insightful, and also it could, you know, make me reconsider my lifestyle a bit, right? I think one one of the good things about Juno Plan is that they really do include everything. They take everything into consideration that they possibly can. So, for example, our genes as well as possible environmental factors. And then they also do provide um, lifestyle tips for us to really look through and to see what we need to improve on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so this is a really, really cool experiment. <laughs>